Most people you'll meet in life are friendly, kind, and generous. But every so often, you'll run into some pretty difficult people. You may find them at work, at school, or even at home. The worst thing about difficult people is that they can make life miserable for you. There are many different kinds of difficult personalities. Do you recognize any of these people? The bully. I enjoy making other people feel bad about themselves. Mr. or Ms. Negative. I love to complain about how bad things are. The Exploder. I can't stand not getting what I want, so I scream and yell a lot. The know-it-all. I insist on telling everyone else how things should be done. If difficult people can make your life miserable, knowing how to deal with them effectively can make your life a lot easier. Here's a simple two-step approach. Step one. Ask yourself, what's the reward? People are difficult because they get some kind of reward for their behavior. Being difficult gives them something they want. Step two, figure out, how can you stop the reward? How can you not give the difficult person the things they enjoy getting? Take the bully, for example. What's the reward for the bully's behavior? And how can you stop the reward? Bullies feel better about themselves by making you feel bad about yourself. They like to make you feel upset and nervous. And they enjoy getting into arguments because they usually win. To prevent this reward, decide that you will not let the bully make you feel bad about yourself. Stay cool and calm. Avoid getting emotional. Try asking them to stop their behavior. And if they won't, ignore them or leave the room. They can't get their reward if you won't talk with them. How about the exploders? What's their reward? And how can you keep them from getting it? Exploders throw tantrums because they love getting attention. They want everyone else to stop what they're doing and focus on them. You can prevent this reward by refusing to talk with them until they've calmed down. You can say, I understand you're angry, and I don't mind talking with you about it after you calm down. If they can't calm down, ignore them or leave the room until they are calm again. The best way to deal with difficult people is to avoid interacting with them. But if you can't, you can use this approach to handle Mr. or Ms. Negative, the know-it-all, and the other difficult people you're bound to meet.